Hello, welcome to Urobo School. Uh, this is lesson 2.3. My name is Ekoho Urogu. So in this lesson, uh, we'll be looking at nouns. So this follows lesson 2.2, where we introduce you to um, Urobo verbs. So there were 50 verbs that we um, introduced you to. We want you to keep practicing them. And now we want to look at nouns. So we're not going to be um, looking at the technical, the grammatic aspects of nouns. We're not going to be teaching you that way. We hope that you already know what nouns are all about. So we're just going to introduce you to some few words, put them in, um, in practice, put them in sentences and help to build your confidence and get you on your way to learning Urobo. So let's get started. So if you look at what it says on the screen there, in grammar, we know that now refers to a person, an object or an abstract idea. Uh, for example, I saw a black cat. So cat is the now in that sentence. If you translate that to a robot, it will be mi mlonogbo obiebi. Mi mlonogbo obiebi. So onogbo is cat. Okay. Uh, and OBAB obviously is black. So you can see the uh, in English cat was at the end, uh, which is the object. Uh, but in Inurubo, the object comes further forward in the sentence structure. So you can see that the, the now, which is uh, Onobo, uh, is now in front of OBAB, which is black. Okay. So uh, Throughout this lesson, we're going to be looking at different um, ways that now features in sentences and how they behave uh, in verbal sentences. Remember, uh, in previous lessons, we looked at the use of tone, um, tonation uh, to give different meanings. So again, you will see some, some instances where tonation comes into play. But essentially, the main focus of this lesson uh, is to look at examples of people, uh, towns, animals, and things. Uh, so we just selected these four aspects just to try and um, deliver the lesson. So people is equal, equal people. And towns, ilele, ilele, towns. Animals, erawe, erawe, animals, things, erawo, erawo, things. So we're going to be practicing some um, examples uh, across these four um, different aspects. Starting with people. Um, so you can see there some examples. So we've literally picked relationships to introduce it to. Uh, we could have picked any aspect of people, but we're better to start than uh, people around you. So you can see there, we've got some English examples, some words in English uh, and the Urubu equivalent. So the first one is Ose, which is father. Ose, father. Oni, mother. Oni, mother. Onyovose, onyovose, or onyovoni, onyovoni. Okay, so onyovose is an uncle or an auntie um, on your paternal side, on your father's side. So you can see ose, so literally means father's brother. That's the literal translation. Uh, and similarly, onyovoni, you can guess that means an uncle or an auntie on your maternal side, on your mother's side. So onyovoni, mother's uh, brother or sister. Okay, so onyovose, onyovoni, uncle or auntie, we don't differentiate. Then omo, which is child, okay. Again, uh, this can be girl child, boy child, so son or daughter, uh, or more child, we don't differentiate. 
um, just as you don't, uh, Chai doesn't have um, uh, uh, gender to it. Then Uromo, Uromo, grandchild, Uromo. Okay, then Onyovo. We saw this before. Onyovo, that is brother or sister. Okay, Onyovo. Okay, Emoinyovo, cousins. Emoinyovo, cousins. Oshari, husband. Oshari, husband. Aye, wife. Aye, wife. So these are some examples we want you to keep practicing. I'm going to read out the Urubo. So if you listen to me carefully and maybe try to repeat after me. Ose, Oni, Onyavose, Onyavoni. Omo, Uromo, Onyovo, Emoinyovo, Oshari, Aye. Okay, now here is an example uh, uh, just to show you the positioning of nouns in sentences. So in this example, I want to say, my father read a book in one day. My father read a book in one day. So you can see that's the pronoun, my, now, father, verb, now, and noun there. So um, so we can now say uh, in, in the Urubo translation to my father read a book in one day, it will be Oseme Sebena Redovo. Oseme Sebena. Redovo. O seme sebena. Redovo. You can see the now, which is ose. Me, my father. O seme. You can see how the now comes before uh, the pronoun there. Sebena. Sebe. Ebe is book. Se. Se. That is um, to read a book. Sebe, read a book. So that you can see those two words are fused. Na, the, we, dovo, we, in one day, of one. Okay. Oseme, sebena, we, dovo. Okay. So if I wanted you to substitute ose with mother, can you try that? Okay. You would have said, Onime sebina redovo. Okay, now test yourself. Try with uh, brother or my cousin. You can just keep swapping ose with any of these people to see how you can use them in sentences. So I helped you with mother. Onime sebina redovo. Uh, equally, maybe your father read a book in seven days. Yeah, so practice that as well. Oseme sebena wediwune, ediwune, iwune is seven. So swap the uh, the um, pronoun and maybe the number of days to you know have have fun. Just keep building your confidence, your vocabulary, uh, and before you know it, uh, you will be up and running. Okay, so in this one example substitute with all of these uh, relationships, uh, maybe even use someone else's name, um, increase the days uh, and um, see how you feel. Okay, something else that we want to show you as well uh, is the whole ideas, uh, the whole idea of using Rode, the big one. Yeah, so it's literally Ode, Ode is big. So the uh, when you combine the rode, which is the adjective with it now, you that's how you form uh, new words. So they come together to create new words. So you have ose, then you add rode to ose, it becomes big father, literally, but it means grandfather. Ose rode, ose rode. 
So Oni, Oni Rode, Oni Rode. Yeah, yeah. So, but when you come to say um, brother or sister, you wouldn't say um, Oni Ovo Rode. Yeah. So if it's someone who's older, you say Oni Ovo, Oni Ovo Me Okpako, Oni Ovo Okpako. Okay. Okpako means elder. So someone is um, older than you. Okpako Me, my elder. Oni Ovo Me Okpako, my older brother or my elder brother okay so uh just wanted to throw that in just to give you a flavor of rather i was trying to think of other examples where uh you um rode will come into play but um practice these ones uh substitute different relationships uh in this uh in this example also me seven are devil okay uh, which is my father read a book in one day so that is people <laughs> let's move on to the next uh next example um towns so we said we're going to so i just need to go back it's changing itself so we're going to do towns we thought we'll use this So we're going to do towns now. So we thought we'll use um, Uruba kingdoms to um, give example um, of towns. So these are towns across Uruba land. Uh, these are all kingdoms, the 24 kingdoms that make up Uruba. So there they are. So you have Agbaruto, Agbarame, or Agbarawari, Agbaru, Agbo, <coughs> Arawari. A fruto, a rainy, a woo, a gere, mosoga, oga, ogo, okere rubo, okarebe, okbe, olomu, orogo, oravi abraka, udu, ogeri, ujave, umiawa abraka, uvia, and uweru. So these are the different towns. In Uru, um, across Urubo land, so the 24 Urubo kingdoms, uh, you would have come from at least one, maybe two, maybe even four of these towns. I know I come from Agbo because my mom comes from Ogbara, my mom comes from Ovu, my father comes from Ogbara, so I am um, through and through uh, an Agbo child. So, in this, uh, in this um, part of the lesson, we will um, look at examples using towns so it's just trying to form the best way to learn a robot is to make sentences make um, sense uh, and hopefully be able to communicate or understand um, sentences that have been said to you or, or that you're trying to make uh, which are ignorable so let's start with these examples here um tivo wonure that's the first one, Tivo Wonure. Okay, you can see the translation there. Um, um, so that's the question. So the translation is under there. Where are you from? Tivo Wonure. Where are you from? And you would answer Ogara Minure in this example. So in actual fact, Agbo Minure. So where are you from? Okay, so Tivo Wonure. Now try to answer with where you are from. Okay, so Agbo Minure or Oga Minure. So let's try the next one, <coughs> which is which town are you coming from? So someone's coming from somewhere you want to ask them where are they coming from? Which town are you coming from? Um, um so the thing to keep in mind here is this you here which town are you coming from uh it's a plural you so not just one person so uh multiple people here so you're asking a group of people which town are they coming from so it becomes 
Yeah. If it was just a singular you, someone's just asking one person, where are you coming from? It would have been Yeah. But because this is plural, it becomes So onwa means plural you. Wo is the singular you. Okay. Uh, we'll do that in the next lesson. Uh, so the question here is Olivo Owa Nekia Agbaro Aware Nekia Agbaro Aware Nekia. We are coming from Agbaro Agbaro Aware Nekia. Okay, so keep practicing that Agbaro Aware Nekia. So if you was in um, London or um, Manchester or Nottingham, someone ask you, which town are you coming from? In London, I mean, Nottingham, I mean, okay, or Paris, we are coming from Paris, okay, right? So let's try this other one. Which place is your mother from? That's the sentence we want to make. So, asavo onywe nure. Asavo onywe nure. Yeah, asavo onywe nure. So that's the question. My mother comes from Ugeli. Ugeli onime nure. Ugeli onime nure. So if you was to... Uh, Sorry about that. So if you was to ask yourself, um, if this was uh, you trying to respond to the question, if I asked you, um, where is your mother from? So remember, I told you my mom is from Ovum. So Ovum, Onimenure. Okay. So there you go. So swap with your own town. So we're speaking... Uh, and hopefully making sense. So let's try the last one here. <coughs> um, we are from, so this is a question. We are from Ereni and Olomu. So you ask, you're sort of confirming um, what you already know in a question form. We are from Ereni and Olomu. Ereni ve Olomu, awai nuri. Ereni ve olomu awainure. Yeah? So the answer is confirmation. E. Ereni ve olomu owa nure. E. Ereni ve olomu owa nure. Yes, you are from Ereni and olomu. Okay? So here are the questions. I'm going to uh, I'm going to make these sentences, and I want you to work along with me and reply with the responses here. So I will make these sentences, and you reply. Tivo wonure. Okay. Oevo owaneka. Asavo onuwe nure. Ere ni ve oromu awaye nure. Okay, good. I hope you was able to um, you were able to give the responses in the time I gave you there. So well done if you did. So let's move on to the next one, uh, which is, so, so let's move on to the next one, uh, which is all about animals. So in this example, what we want you to learn, uh, you can see on the screen there, uh, a number of animals uh, and what they are called in Urubu. Uh, so obviously you need to take your time 
refer to your uh, your workbook, this workbook that you've got on the screen, and try to practice them. Uh, we very, very quickly run through the animals. Uh, you can see the English there. So I won't say the English, I will just say the Urubu. So if you look across, and hopefully you can see uh, the English equivalent. So I'll just be pronouncing the Urubu. Okay. Isakba. Obra. Eri. Ekekete. Onugbo. Oho. Imenu. Egere. Erako. Ijaki. Ikbuku yeke. Okwemu. Eni. Eni. Unye. Ogoro. Ewe. Abaka. Orwa. Iyesi. Udibo. O. Era. Okpokropo. Ogogore. Owe. A weary or a monkey. O Gracie. O Kukuji. O Moko. A sea. A fioto. O Cro. O a ramwee. A pakpasi maga. A pakpasi maga. O gode. Isek me. O redeko. O ta. E genekbo. O gwein. Okay. So the, those are the animals you can see on the screen there. Uh, these are all, um, it's much more in your handbook um, when you look over it. So let's try and use some of these. Uh, in some sentences. So here we have the first one, uh, which is the horse is very white. Okay. The horse is very white. Yes, now I for four. Yes, now I for four. Okay. So you can always substitute. Yes, it with maybe some other animal that can be white as well. I don't know, maybe cat. Onugbo now afwa fo. So onugbo, which is cat, now afwa fo. So oho now afwa fo. Chicken, the chicken is very white. So keep substituting the animal with other animals just to try and familiarize yourself with sending out those animals. Uh, you can see them to the left hand side there uh, and equally if you wanted to maybe use another color uh, black B-A-B remember at the beginning we did Onobo B-A-B so black is B-A-B red is Wawari okay so you can do Onobo Nawa B-A-B yeah the cat is very black or Erako Nawa B-A-B the dog is very black. Or well, this example on the screen is the horse is very white. Yes, in our four. Okay, just keep practicing. The whole idea is we give you uh, the basis for you to expand on, just expand on it to get a flavor of um, of the um, of the language. Just try and build your vocabulary, build your confidence and get into practice, get into flow. So the next one here is uh, the dogs are many. The dogs are many. Okay. Um, the dogs are many. Okay. Um, so you can say, I don't know, the pigs are many. Yeah, okay. 
or um, inogbo na So that is cats, yeah? So um, cats, uh, we'll come on to that in a later lesson. So singular cat is onogbo, onogbo. Uh, plural cats is inogbo, inogbo. Okay, so inogbo now abuebu, yeah, the cats are many. Okay, good. So we'll look at this other one. Um, your owl flew up. Okay, I don't know how many people owns owl, but this person has got an owl, but his owl or her owl has flown up. So the, the word here is your owl flew up. Okukujiwe rakbenu. Okukujiwe rakbenu. Enu is up. Benu is to, you know, ascend upwards, to up, go upwards. Benu is to go up. Okukujiwe rakbenu. Your owl flew up. Yeah. So you can think of maybe some other animal that can fly up. Uh, maybe, I don't know, maybe a, a fly, the fly flew up. Uh, so you don't, I wouldn't like to think that you own a fly. I certainly don't own a fly. So we could say, uh, the fly flew up. Na na is there. Yeah, Ra is to fly. So some other some other action that can lift it upward would be to jump. Jump. Jump is to wo wo. So we know frogs can jump. Yeah. So let's try and we can say Oguro. Yeah. Oguro frog. Yeah. Ogorona Ogbenu. Yeah, so because frogs can fly, they can jump. So fly is ra. Jump is wo, 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 wo. Yeah, Ogbenu jump up. Ogorona Ogbenu. Okay, well, the example we're practicing, but we want you to expand on is um, your owl flew. Up, okukuji we ragmenu. Yeah, if I wanted to say the owl flew up, okukuji na ragmenu. Okay, so don't limit yourself. We just wanted to, you know, keep pushing yourself. Uh, you know, keep being brave. Get back to us at the Robo School if you need assistance. Just keep being brave, and that's how. Uh, you will learn. Okay, so let's move on to the last set of um, noun words. So we wanted to, so the next noun word is about themes. Themes. Uh, so here are some examples of themes you will see in and around the house. So again, I will um, send out the Urubo, you can see the English translation to the right hand side. Okay. Uwemi house. Okay. Um, Urwe home, you know, Urwe. That's the home. Uvu bedroom. Ukoni kitchen. Eke door. Usabre key. Igbei wall Ovakbo Ovakbo window Ukbe bed Okuyemi pillow Okaro wardrobe Idoro cupboard well, sometimes also wardrobe but cupboard Ugebe mirror Utuwemi, um, floor in and around the house. So 
Tungwewe is a floor area, usually the front floor area, Utungwewe floor. Ekbetuge television, but equally you can say a television, but uh, which is the um, the uh, modernization or the Urubo um, acquisition of uh, the English word, but the actual Urubo word is Ekbetuge, but very often you hear people use e television, but Ekbetuge is there. Ekbiti Agboro Radio. Ekbiti Radio. Ugojo Clock. Urupe or Upe, a light or lamp. Agbara Chair. Imeje Table. Uko Cup. Omoze or Osete. Plate. Ukujere. Spoon, Ipoto, Pot, Avia, Knife, Aga, Broom, Angma, Cloth, Isabato, Shoes. Okay, so here are some examples where we put them into use. Um, so we want to say, Your house is beautiful. Your house is beautiful. Um, okay. Your house is beautiful. And then open the door for your sister. Open the door for your sister. Rekena. What cone of a way? Reckon a cone of a way. Okay, remember, only of a can equally be um, used for brother as well. So, reckon a cone of a way. Open the door for your sister or brother. Biko, Vaviana Kewe. Biko, Vaviana Kewe. Yeah, please give me the knife. Biko, Vaviana Kewe. Okay, so what we want you to do is to substitute these with different um, words from the table there. So, um, your bedroom is very nice. Okay, your bed is very nice, very it's beautiful. So you can swap Avia with so many other words there. Okay, maybe speak to one of us at a robot school. Thank you very much. Goodbye.